Hello and welcome to part two of Animal Watch's disgusting but true facts about dogs. I hope you haven't eaten today because today we're going to find out why dogs eat poo. Why do dogs stare at us when we're on the toilet? Why do dogs eat random household objects? Why dogs show their bums to us? Why do dogs eat their own vomit? And why do dogs scoot their bums across our carpets? Well, if you thought last week's episode was disgusting, well, you've not seen anything yet. Well, today on Animal Watch Facts, we will explain your dog's most disgusting habits and explain why he does it. Might not make you want to kiss those furry lips afterwards, but it might just make you understand your little pal more. Why does our dog eat poo? Yummy. Not all dogs do it, but some do it so much that owners really hate it. Ah! As this means your dog's breath literally stinks of if they are eating their own, it's called coprophagia. It is a normal behaviour for many animals and is seen in roughly 25% of dogs. It's a behaviour they learned as a puppy from their mum when she would clean up after them and lick the poo from their little bottoms as she suckled them. Personally, I've witnessed it more in my submissive dogs, so I'm inclined to think that the more stressed a dog has seen in more lower-ranking dogs, then more they will exhibit this behaviour, almost as though they are feeling that they shouldn't be marking or leaving their scent. Sometimes dogs eat poo because they are missing something in their diet because of an underlying medical condition, so it's always good to check with the vet if this suddenly starts. So why then do dogs eat other dogs' poop on walks and even stinky fox and badger poo? Gross as it might sound, it's probably because they just like the taste and texture of it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We may be repulsed by the very thought of poo, but to dogs, it's packed full of interesting information that tells them about who its marker was and what they'd been eating. Your dog's sense of smell and taste are so very different to ours, and they also may be able to detect undigest fats, proteins, or other material that smell delicious to them, which is highly nutritional and goes back to when their ancestors lived in the wild. Perhaps try feeding your dog on a nutritious raw diet with vegetables, and perhaps this habit might stop. Why do dogs stare at you when you're on the toilet? There are reasons behind a dog's clingy behaviour, especially when he follows you into the toilet and watches you at your most intimate moment. One reason your dog wants to stay close to your side is positive reinforcement. If every time you are with your pup, they get affection or treats, they're likely to follow you around more often. So toilet boundaries, doesn't matter to them at all. And remember, young puppies who are less than six months old recognise you as a parent or other object of trust, and they imprint on you as they would their mother. Of course, a dog's desire to follow us is also an expression of loyalty and love. Remember when I told you earlier that a dog likes you to watch his back when he poops? Well, perhaps he's returning the favour, so don't knock it. Why do dogs eat grass and sometimes objects around the house? There is an easy explanation to why dogs eat grass and vegetation. Dogs need roughage in their diets and grass is a good source of fibre. If a dog is lacking roughage, it affects the dog's ability to digest food and pass its stools, so grass may actually help their bodily functions run more smoothly. If your dog is doing it a lot, it's a form of self-medicating, and he is making up for a lack of fibre in his diet, which you are not feeding him. Wolves in the wild are known for self-medicating and have been known to eat a variety of plants and substances 
depending on the vitamin or what their body needs at the time. Zoopharmacognosy is a behaviour in which non-human animals self-medicate by selecting and ingesting or topically applying plants, soils, insects and psychoactive drugs to prevent or reduce the harmful effects of pathogens and toxins. In the Animal Watch episode, How Wolves Heal Themselves, Dr. Isla Fishburne speaks about this amazing phenomenon that wolves do. You can watch the episode by clicking the top info bar now. There is also an eating disorder called pica, which some dogs suffer from in the house when they suddenly look stressed and start to eat random objects. When let outside, this becomes a shift to a sudden eating of grass. It can be spurred again by an underlying medical condition where the dog tries to relieve himself from possible sickness by eating stuff for roughage in the place of grass when it isn't available. Sometimes pica can endanger a dog's health because what they swallow may be toxic, disrupt normal digestive process or get lodged in their intestinal tract. I have a wolf dog who suffers from pica and eats his bedding, which is highly dangerous. If you have a dog who suffers from this, be sure not to purchase toys that can easily lodge in their intestine and use bedding that won't block the intestinal tract. If pica gets too bad, the vet can medicate to help calm the symptoms. Why dogs turn their butt towards you? When a dog shows you their bum, it means they trust you. This is called the hip nudge. A dog presenting their rear to you is a sign of passivity and friendliness. You may have seen them also doing this to other dogs in order to get them to smell them or show them they are friendly. Turning their face away demonstrates that they trust you and don't feel threatened. A dog will either touch you gently with their hip or bum or will wait passively with their back to you. A dog that isn't comfortable with you won't turn their backs and show you this form of vulnerability. They're showing you that their teeth are furthest away and they don't intend to harm you. Another possible related reason why dogs present their rumps to you is attempting to claim you. Since those scent glands under their tails are a massive source of pheromones, chemical smells that we humans don't notice, they may be trying to leave their scents on you therefore claiming you as theirs, which is totally normal. Dogs just want to show you how much they love you and be close to you. Another simple reason is that they just want a good scratch. Did you know that dogs have a super pleasurable nerve area at the base of their spine and when scratched feels super good to them? Greeting you as his friend is another reason that your pup turns his back towards you. You can return this by scratching that amazing part of his back and he'll love you forever. Why dogs eat their own vomit? Dogs actually think that eating their own vomit is perfectly natural. In fact, when pups are being weaned, mother dogs will regurgitate food for their young to help them adjust to eating solid foods. Many high-content wolf dog adults, even those not related to the puppies, can be forced to regurgitate simply by cheeky puppies licking their mouths. And it's important to remember that there's a difference between vomiting and regurgitation. Vomiting is the ejection of contents of the stomach and it's more concerning. Regurgitating, on the other hand, is composed of undigested food that never made it down to the stomach. Oftentimes, dogs regurgitate when they've eaten their food too quickly or the pieces are too big for their esophagus. If a dog is sick, you may often see him eat it back up immediately. He isn't trying to hide it from you or clean it up. He simply views it as a food source, which he might as well try to digest. Gross, but true. Ew. Dragging their butt along the carpet. Now, not all dogs do this, but certainly my dog Zora does this, and there can be a few explanations for this. Number one, your dog could have worms. Worms really make your dog's bottom itch, and perhaps they are trying to tell you that they have an intestine full of the little blighters 
which need your attention now. Another explanation might be that your dog's anal glands need expressing. Your dog has two anal sacs, also called anal glands, located on the lower sides of his anus. They produce an excretion with a scent that identifies him and tells other dogs such things as your dog's sex, health and approximate age. These sacs excrete this fluid when your dog has a bowel movement, but sometimes they get blocked and irritated. A vet can help express these glands, but in the meantime, a good carpet scratch really hits the spot. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Mm Mm-hmm. The third reason, and probably the most disgusting, is, well, it basically feels really good. Your dog can get an itchy bottom just like anyone. And if he's smart enough to have figured out that your dining room carpet does the trick, then please do this one thing for me. Make sure you buy a brown carpet and good luck. And if you enjoyed this disgusting but true episode of Animal Watch, then be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner. Remember to watch part one of this disgusting two part series. I will leave a link in the description and in the corner there you can click on that. And be sure to tune in every single week where I'll be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now. And bye from a very sleepy cow. Oi, wake up. Oi.